Kentucky style. So there's nothing quite like cooking with local Connecticut produce this time of year and a very specific type of produce. A Hubbard squash. <laughs> Joining us is Chef John Brennan. I made the mistake of saying, oh, we're cooking with butternut squash. Yep. And you're like, um, no. Hubbard squash. It's a Hubbard squash. So tell us about this squash. You know, so the Hubbard squash, it's actually a, a very old squash that originates in uh, South America. And it's a hybrid squash, but these days we have all these awesome boutique vegetables from our local farms here mm -hmm. in Connecticut. Uh, this runs from the farm um, that we've been getting it from, but they're like big and bulky and blue in color, but when you split them open, they have a, a similar kind of look to a pumpkin or okay. some of the butternuts. They're a little sweeter than the butternut or the honey nut squash, uh, or I'm sorry, a little less sweet than the butternut or honey nut squash, but uh, they're super delicious and really easy to uh, put together a great meal. So how did you prepare it before you did this? So we just split that squash right in half, yep. uh, take out the seeds, add a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and then we roast it in the oven at okay. 400 degrees. Okay. So what I do is I take half the flesh and we set it aside uh, after roasting it for to make the cavatelli. Mm -hmm. That's all in the recipe right there. It's pretty straightforward. Some ricotta cheese, eggs, flour, uh, salt and pepper. And then I take the other half of the squash and I puree it into almost like a, uh, a fall squash bisque. Okay. So we use that to pick up uh, the rest of our dish right here. Beautiful. All right. And we're gonna, where can we find this dish? So this is on our farm fresco menu at Olives and Oil. Uh, we do a new menu every month that features local and seasonal produce there, as well as our regular menu with all of our regular pastas and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, and we actually just have a brand new location coming to Seymour, Connecticut in the end of December. So we're opening up our second olives and oil to go along with the one in New Haven That's and so our exciting. restaurant Elm City Social. Yeah, you're busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try to stay busy. <laughs> if I stay busy, then I keep myself out of trouble. You know? There you Good. go. All right, and those cavadellis are not going to take long to cook, right? Yeah, no, about three, four minutes in there. I think we're about done with them right now, so I'm going to transfer them over. And you added, oh, I'm sorry. Cheese, a little Parmesan in there? Yeah, so I started the pan with a little bit of pancetta. You know, that's that Italian-style bacon. I rendered the fat from that. Add a little bit of fresh herbs and garlic, and then we add some of that uh, squash bisque we made, mm -hmm. and a little bit of chicken stock, and then we're going to finish that with the Parmesan cheese that I added, and a little bit of butter and some salt and pepper to taste. I was wondering about the bacon. Is that can you use pancetta? Is it your standard bacon? What exactly are you using? So we use pancetta, but you could use if you have bacon in your fridge, you or even some sausage, anything, okay. or or you know if you're a vegetarian. You can certainly do it without. Here we're using chicken stock, but a good option for a lot of vegetarians is to use um, just the pasta water that you cooked in. Oh, right. Okay. You know, because it, it's going to be a little bit salty from seasoning it and have some of that extracted starch content from the pasta. So then we're just going to reduce this down and uh, plate it up with some fresh grated Parmesan right on top of it. I, I almost forgot the arugula. You can't forget the arugula. You can't forget that, the arugula. That has that little spice <laughs> oh, to it, yeah. right? Fresh, yeah. Hey, so we were talking a lot about your wedding in the last couple months. Oh, yeah. It happened. Thank yeah. you. I'm yeah. finally married. <laughs> How did the dance go? I know you guys are rehearsing. It went really well. Time. There was like oh. one almost misstep. Oh, boy. I but wish we had a we video. We covered it. Wouldn't that have been good next time? You could bring us a video. I do have a video. One. I can okay, bring it. I'm still that. waiting on my wedding, like the, all the videos we paid for, because that takes like three yeah. months or so to put it together. So I think we did pretty well. And how'd the, how'd you, where'd you go on your honeymoon? So we went to Maui. So, That's great. yeah, we were there for a long time. and. It was beautiful. If you know Maui, we did the road to Hana, and we stopped the whole way and ate fresh mangoes and oh, bananas and the Maui gold pineapples, which are super surreal. Um, that sounds awesome. We yeah. went to Kauai for our honeymoon. Oh, yeah? It's a s similar journey. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, you got to kind of do that for a honeymoon, because that's a long trip. Yeah, it was like 12 hours. Yeah. yeah. I, like eight hours in, I was looking. I was like, "Oh my God, we have to <laughs> like, how are we going to do this?" Yeah. So and now it's back stuff. to reality. Now it's back to reality. We're opening another restaurant, and you know, so there's always time to stay busy. Is the farm fresh, um, farm to table feel really olive oil specialty? You know, we use a lot of seasonal ingredients and local ingredients, like Luizzi's cheeses, right. and we're always using them. And we just decided that you know we don't really advertise it a ton. So I was like, you know what, we're going to just do a special little menu we do each month where we let our chefs uh, be creative. You know, we have Chef Day Cuisines that run each of our restaurants, and I sort of oversee them. And uh, these are some dishes that they put together, and they're really delicious. Looks, looks great. Really I mean, good. Dig in. You. I mean, your mom helps out a little bit too, correct? Oh, yeah. My mom is my pastry <laughs> chef, you know, so she makes all of our tiramisu and our fresh cannolis we make in-house. 
And we actually even have uh, pasta classes, pizza classes, That's and cool. then now we added a cannoli class we do as well. That where you great. get to come in and we make the cannoli dough from scratch and then we roll them up That's and deep fry them, make the filling. And of course we pair it up with something great from our bar. That's with great. the pasta classes it's usually wine, yeah, yeah. but with the cannoli class we do an espresso martini. That's All right, nice. sign us up. We're yeah. good. All right. <laughs> I only see one problem here, Teresa. There's forks. one plate. Well, we could share. Yeah, we could share. <laughs> Two forks. Right. Thank you, chef. So Thanks so much for having me in. Good luck with Seymour. We'll be looking Thank forward to Thank you. The yeah, hopefully I can come back on when we get closer to the open. We can make that. All right, all right. <laughs> Stay with us. More style coming up after the break.